This is Mark. He's one of my characters for my book Flickr World, and I use him in promotional materials for the book. Now he looks okay. I mean, his skin texture is a little muted, uh, soft, and kind of low res. And, you know, his beard and his eyebrows are kind of painted on. And now that iClone has the beard and brow, you know, smart hair crap, I figured I would uh, update him a little bit. So that's what I did. So I brought in, you know, some smart hair for his eyebrows and his and his beard and stuff. And as you can see, it looks okay, but not great. Um, especially if you look at the iRay version here. His, you know, his eyebrows and his beard, they look kind of mm, thick or solid. You know, there's no, you can't really see through them. They look a little too heavy. Um, so I'm going to show you, if you run into something like that, which you probably will if you use these kind of props, I'll show you how to fix that or at least make it a little less noticeable. So let's take a look at that. The, the secret is opacity. So I'll show you what I mean. If we double click on his eyebrows, we go to modify and then the materials tab. You'll see that there's two material zones here, the base, which is just a uh, flat color that's underneath of the eyebrows, and the actual hair and stuff. So this is the one we want to adjust. There's two ways to mess with the opacity. You can just you can click on the opacity thing here and you can adjust the slider. But that doesn't really work for us with the smart hair. So, but what we can do is adjust the map itself. So if you right click on the opacity map and go to adjust color, the brightness is the channel that we want. And now we can actually adjust it. So it can go all the way down or anywhere in between. And I think for him, I think negative 50 is probably pretty good. So now they're, you know, not so, uh, they're, they let a little light penetrate through them. They're not so thick and dense. Uh, and we're going to do the same thing. We can leave this panel open, actually, and we can do the same thing for our other hair elements. So I'm going to click on the, the beard. And he's actually, the beard's actually two parts. So I'm going to click on this part here. And for the beard, I think negative 50 is our friend. And that just takes it down. It makes it a little more wispy, right? His mustache, if we wanted to, we could do negative 25, just to mute that down a little bit too. Just like that, that looks a little better, a little more muted, not like it's just these like steel wool growing out of his hair, out of his face. Uh, you also notice his hair is not that great. I think they brought this in over from Daz. I'm not sure. Um, it's not a great hair product. But we can make it look a little better using the same technique. So again, uh, some hair might actually come with a scalp uh, material. So we don't want that. We want the actual material for the hair. And we're going to do the opacity channel again. Right click on it. Adjust color. And we're going to turn the brightness down to like negative 25. And you notice it kind of like thins out the hair a little bit. It makes it look just a little less solid, a little less dense, right? So now, I think that looks a lot better, a lot more natural. And if we look at the iRay version of it, which I already have rendered, you'll see that looks better too. Um, it's not great, it's not perfect, but I think it's a little more reasonable compared to this. So this is what we started out with, right? And this is what we just did. I think it just looks a lot more balanced. His hair could probably use a better product, but overall, much better job. So that's it for today. I just wanted to share that quick little tip with you. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank you for watching Zero Calvin. Don't forget to like and subscribe.
If you'd like to see more content like this, consider supporting the channel on Patreon. If you don't want to support the channel, then I'll see you in hell later, punk.